Hello everybody, welcome to Northern Card Game and my name is Andrew Brown and today we'll be looking at one of the sleeper decks I'd say for Worlds, potentially a hype deck, it depends really what the meta turned out to be, it is Greninja. Greninja is quite a good play just due to its strong attacks, strong typing because of Volk, potentially Volk being good, and of course Alan's uh, very bonkers ability based break. Let's go through the deck, so we're playing... A 4-4-4-3 four, 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 line of Greninja. Um, in the old days, you just play this and nothing else. Maybe Jirachi. But uh, we have to play Star you and Star Me just to, to able to use less items. And also it means you can constantly set up your breaks. But let's go through, the, through which ones you use. You're using the Bubble Froki. Due to the fact that you can paralyze on a coin flip. So if you're in a really bad pickle. And you need to stall for a turn. You can Bubble. Hope you get a heads. And you, then you can paralyze the defending Pokemon. And keep them from attacking, give you an extra turn to get your frogadier your frogadiers. Quite good. So this is the one you want to use this is a breakpoint. Use breakpoint frogadier due to the water duplicates attack for one water energy. You search your deck for up to three frogadier and put them onto your bench. Uh, that means that you can put literally three frogadiers, no need for frogies, onto your bench. You're basically bridgeting your frogadiers out on and onto your turn, meaning that when it gets back to your turn, you can instantly evolve them up into Greninjas. And that's the crutch of this deck. If you get a turn to Frogadier, your deck is running very, very well. So, the way the deck seems to run is turn one, you try and get two Frogies down. Turn two, your turn two, you get a Frogadier and duplicates, hopefully for three, unless some are prized. And then by turn three, you're able to set up, try and set up as many Greninjas as possible. Greninja is stage two, 130, which is low for a stage two nowadays, but this was before the the jump in attack, uh, so jump in HP, sorry. And I've got two very, very good attacks, one of them being Shadow Stitching, which does 40 or 70 on a choice band for colorless energy. And Shadow Stitching is basically Hex Maniac on your opponent's side of the field. Opponent cannot play abilities that in his next, hit or her next turn. So, in the current meta, where the three big decks are potentially would be Gardevoir, Metagross, and Volcanion. What does Greninja have a, have a common against them? It can stop their ability. It can stop Guardy ramping. It can stop Volk um, steaming up. Although you got, you already have weakness on them, so you should be beating that deck anyway. And Metagross, you're stopping them dead in their tracks because they can't chain attackers. And that's silly with uh, with Greninja. This this attack alone makes the deck potentially a good play if you can dodge the grass types of Glissopod and the Situi. Um the problem, even with Shadow Stitching against Decidueye, is that they can just one-shot you anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But And you also need to start doing damage against Decidueye, because it's so big. Second attack, which is the one that, if you're against maybe some decks that aren't uh, as ability-based, you'll be using quite a lot, is Moonlight Slash, which is for one water energy. You can do 60 base, or you can do an extra 20 if you return that water energy to your hand. This helps... Uh, set up a break potentially for a break um, water shuriken. Um, well, choice band is 110, which with the breaks um, damage counters does is a pretty good number to hit, and that's a good number to hit for a Greninja. So we're hit, hopefully hitting for 70 with choice band and 110 with choice band. That is not a bad damage spread in my opinion, and the fact you can shut down your opponents makes this deck pretty silly, especially once you get to the break. Grinja break from break point. 170 HP is quite good. You're basically a EA Tapu Lele HP on a non EX, non GX. That's that's pretty good. Uh, it does take a while to set up. Once you set them up, you're doing pretty pretty well. And it has the ability Giant Water Shuriken, which once during your turn, when the card is in your active, you can discard a water energy from your hand and do six damage counters to anywhere on the opponent's side of the field. This means that the 110 or 70 that Greninja was doing them this turn becomes 170 if you use Minus Slash or even 130 with a uh, if Shadow Stitch. And if you retreat because of for the free retreat on Greninja, retreat into a second Greninja break and then do Water Shuriken. That's an extra 60 you're doing. That's 230 damage you're doing a turn, which is it ramps up very, very quickly. And if you really want to go even more bonkers, if you somehow have water energy enough to do it, you can then Guzma. A third break in, and then do so. You're doing 180 on a damage a bit on abilities alone. This is why the deck's so good. You're setting up. You go. You go. Turn one, frog froki. Turn two, frog ears. Turn three, Greninjas, Turn four, breaks. This is the sort of uh, 
once you get set up, you can beat nearly anything that's not grass. And that's just, it's it's setting up the problem with Greninja, but we have a lot of cards to help help that set up. But once Greninja sets up, it's hard to break it down. It is such a good deck. I do it, I do really like the deck. It's inconsistent, which is the problem with it. Um, you can get things in the wrong order. You can get things we don't want to. But overall, I think the deck is very, very strong. So oh, this Pokemon line is perfect. You can play a Talonflame version. Talonflame from Steam Seed, which allows you to put Talonflame, the Stage 2 Talonflame, as you're active, and that helps. That that'll help a lot post rotation, um, just because you're losing dive ball, you're losing dive ball, you're losing repeat ball, you're losing level ball, you're losing vs. You're losing a lot of cards in this list. Even losing even teammates. So talent flame seems to be the best one, just because of the fact that you are getting 130 stage two on the first turn of the game. Um, and then you got the attack arrow blitz, which for forty or seventy with a choice band allows you to search two cards. So that helps quite a lot, especially against um, gar uh, gar Garbodor decks. Garbodor, um, if you keep your item down to eight, they can't one shot the breaks, which is pretty good. So you're wanting to, um, to probably play uh, the talent flame version against that one, just because it means you can set up more. Problem is, if you have talent flame and don't start with it, you've got four dead talent flames, which isn't which ain't great. That ain't great, but if you start off with it, it is a better deck overall than this. With this one, problem is that we get we're more consistent with our Greninja, due to the fact we don't have to worry about Talonflame. So that's Greninja. After that, we are playing a two. We're playing the Breakpoint Staryu, two of them to make up Starmie, a 90 HP from Evolution with the ability Space Beacon. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So, you already see the play. You discard a card that is a bit useless, maybe a rare candy when you got set up Greninja's, to get two energy back so that you can uh, Greninja break hopefully twice that turn. This means you know, aren't constantly looking for energy because hopefully you are starmying the energy back into your hands you're able to use it for next turn. And this is very, very good because it means that you can set up hopefully three Greninja breaks, another Greninja, and a Starmie on the bench. And at that point, you're probably okay. So that's the, um, the bench we're using here. So that's the line there. Uh, Starmie is good, quite all star, star use, very good because of the free retreat as well. So if you start with it, it ain't the end of the world. It means that you're 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 pretty good because your starters are four of these and two of these. So you don't really mind. You'd rather start with Froki, obviously. But if you start with Star Staryu, it ain't too bad. Now under the items, we're playing four dive ball. Um, search deck for a water Pokemon, reveal it. It's silly, it's good. Means you can search for anything you want in the deck. So, losing this boost rotation ain't great, but we'll find ways around it. So, Dive Ball, you obviously play four off. Enha one Enhanced Hammer. We use Enhanced Hammer mainly because you could play Jirachi, a Jirachi if you wanted to, but that's a starter you don't want. So, I play an Enhanced Hammer. It does the same thing as Jirachi, just doesn't stop them attacking. Um, this helps against uh, Guardi because it means you can take away their DCE and then Shadow Stitch, meaning they can't. Uh, get the, the energy right back on. It helps against Drampa because you can get rid of the DCEs. Help against Nine Tails because you can stop them a bit. E Hammer is just a very, very good card to have in general just because you can slow decks down. To Evo Soda, uh, search deck for a card that evolves from one of those Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Effectively, the, another another version of a ball search, except it goes not to your hand, just straight onto the Pokemon. This can help getting Greninja's out and it's just another search card for Pokemon. In theory, we are playing four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ball search, card, ball search cards. In theory, we count Evosota as a ball search. So you should be setting up, hopefully, every game. Two Field Blower, because you can take off the uh, Fury Belt's a bit irritating for this deck, because you're hitting a specific number, and Fury Belt kind of ruins that a bit. So hopefully, you can get rid of all the fam, get rid of people's Fury Belts. And it means that even then, you can break, you can even break stuff onto them, and then remove the Fury Belts so they can knock get knocked out on your turn so he's like able to attack that ain't bad just get rid of things also get rid of float stones from uh, uh, garbo toxin garbodors because obviously this is a very ability based deck and you need to get abilities online so this can help that might even go to three in the post rotation because the only way to stop abilities would be garb due to hex maniac and silent lab removing Two level ball because you want to try and get your Frokies. This, this gets you level ball gets you Frokies, Frogadiers, gets you Starmies and Staryus. Um, you want to have these because basically it means you can get Frogadier hopefully by turn two more easily because you'll have 
uh, a lot of ways to get it. So we'll have bolt as another way to get Frogadier. You don't play um, Ultra Ball just because Dive Ball is a better choice. You might play Ultra Ball later on with the Talent. You have to play Ultra Ball and Talent Flame just in case. So it means you can just guard the Talent Flames. So I have Ball's pretty good. Just two, just another way to get Pokemon out. One rare candy. This is a bit of a greedy card, but potentially what can happen here is if you have Frog, if you have Froakie, if you have Froakie inactive, and then you have, you can go Frogadier, and then rare candy a, a one of the Froakies into a Greninja. So you've got a free Greninja there already, and then you're able to have Frogadier, 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 and then another Greninja. So this gives you more potential in the deck. Um, it's just there in case, and if you, if you do get it. It, it is pretty good, but it's just there just in case. It means you can set up a tiny bit quicker at times. Wonder people. This can be two people, one evil suited. Depends what you want. Two decks for Pokemon with with the same name as one of your Pokemon and play and reveal it and put it in your hand. So, in theory, you can go Greninja, then repeat ball for another Greninja. And that helps the decks consistently quite a bit. You can go to two if you want. I go even two evil suited. I think it's a semi better potentially, but some people would say go two people, one evil suited. It's up to you. Three Rescue Stretcher, you are losing prizes quite early, so you want to get your, your Pokemon right back into your hand, or into your deck, depending on what you want. And that does help quite a lot. You're not playing Super Rod, just due to the fact that you have Starmie, so you want energy in your discard. And so you play Super Rescue Stretcher, because Rescue Stretcher is then a better choice over Super Rod if you do want energy in discard pad, just because you can put one into your hand instantly. So if a break dies, you can then get the break right back, and put it right back onto Greninja, and keep up your momentum. Uh, three VS Seeker, just less items, and VS Seeker's great. Plus, boy card, you trick up out in your hand. Brilliant card. Same, same way we're losing in rotation, but we'll work, we'll work around it. For the supporter, we're playing one Guzma. Um, it is better than Lysander, just due to the fact that, one, you've got everything's free retreat, basically, so it doesn't matter what target you choose. And also, you can get that insane play with the breaks to potentially get three of them off in a turn. So it is better to go, I think, Guzma overall than Lysander. Play one of them. Full set of 4N and 4 Sycamore. Uh, you want to, if your hand's terrible, you want to have a draw supporter to draw whatever you want. And you need to draw a lot of things. You need to get you need to get your Pokemon down, so you need draw supporters. Two teammates, you are losing prizes early. So teammates really does get a lot of value. Because if you get a Froakie KO'd uh, by turn on your on their turn one, and then you go your turn two, you can teammates for a Frogadier Energy instantly get Frogadier off. So that ain't bad at all. Teammates are quite good. Just in any deck that goes down quickly, teammates also works. It works very, very well. Playing two choice band, people might go to three, but two seems to be enough. Um, it's just an extra space you can use for other things. I like two choice bands. It helps the deck quite out. And I quite like the choice bands because they do get good damage. For energy, a lot. It used to be two. It used to be three. Now it's four splash energy. Splash energy is a card that allows uh, it's attached to water Pokemon, and it provides the water energy, of course. As Pokemon, if the water Pokemon is knocked out, you bring from opponent's attack, not damage counters, you can bring all the Pokemon back into your hand. So if you put a splash energy onto a brick, you're getting all four stages of Greninja back into your hand. This is quite good because it means that you're never really losing board presence. Um, in theory, you can have like a Froki, Frogadier, Greninja, Greninja break, and if that break dies with splash energy, you're setting up another Greninja and another Frogadier to put another Greninja back on. So you're constantly putting Pokemon down, and you're constantly being able to put Pokemon onto the bench. Splash Energy is very, very good for this purpose. Um, you want to have this on Pokemon, and then use basic Water Energy, using 6 Water Energy, to power up your break, and also just, in general, attack. So this one stays on, hopefully stays on your on your Pokemon more, and then use this to do more damage. So that's the deck. So we're going to see how it plays out. Hopefully we, we skip the uh, Grass deck, that will be a bit unfair to show you those, but... We'll see what we got here. Plenty of matches. So let's go and find Greninja. There it is. I started right at the top. So let's see who we play against. So let's start off here against a. It's a grass. Grass dragon. It's could be Noivern. Potentially Noivern. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure how Noivern. Nope. It could just be the UI. This could be a bad sign. But Baby Boy is going to call the flip. Nice hat. Nice Rayquaza hat. And we like to go first, yes, of course, we like to go first. That's your opening hand here. We get a Froakie, we get two Froakies. That ain't bad. The fact we have no draw ain't great. So we're kind of hoping this Frogadier dies. So we can teammates out. Um, so we can teammates out. We're going to see what we have, what we're against. Hopefully this, this card gives it away. Ah, uh, it does not. Um, 
Another focus, not, not, another focus is not bad. I think we don't attach anything. We potentially, because we don't want to attach splash energy. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we do. I think we do. We, mm, now nah, will be alright. Free, free Froakie down. Hopefully he kills this one somehow. That'd be quite nice. If he does, then it means we can team it. There's Rylet. So it's definitely the Sejuai. This is not going to be a good match. Not sure much of what the Dragon is, but might be a Sejuai Noivern. Which is a deck I haven't seen before, but it'd be interesting. A lot of item. It looks strangely like... That's what I'm saying. Revitalizer. We're losing Revitalizer. And the Trainer's Mail. This looks like item heavy central. Another aqua bike. This might be just, just in pure speed alone, which would be annoying. Another aqua bike though, using a lot of speed cards here. Choice bank was way off. So that's a good card to get rid of because of uh, Greninja's. The fact that they're not EXs, so getting rid of Choice bank is not bad. There is a sycamore and a dark tricks gone with the ultra ball. Now what are you getting? He's getting a Latios. Latios? Dark? Uh, much? Never really seen this one before. Super scoop up. Hopefully he can get rid of the Shaman. And he does not. Attaches to the Latios. And then Revitalizers. And he was hoping for that scoop up. Because now his hand's completely dead. But our hand's also dead. So we're going to have to attach. And then bubble. Bubble works. So... He's got only Dark Rings in hand. He's drawn. Basically, his, his hands have won, a, a, won effectively. Which ain't bad. So, we're, if we draw a Frog of the Year, we're really, really far in this game. Or if we draw even a draw supporter that's not N, we're quite far ahead in this game. This would be quite good. I'm sorry if you hear a fan, by the way. Just I think this poor little computer is trying its best. But. So if you're a fan, don't worry about it. It's just the computer being a bit mean and a bit, a bit, a bit dead. Poor computer. So what are you going to do, baby boy? Um, we can attach this to this, hopefully, but he's not doing anything. So maybe he's just going to wait out. He attaches the Dark Trick, that's good. So I'm not sure what he drew, but he didn't draw anything that was going to impact us. We draw a Sycamore. That is perfect. We attach this to this. You then attach that to that. And we Sycamore. So hopefully we just get one frog. We get one frog at ear or a ball search. We get a ball search. Rugged ear is coming our way. How many frog? Let me see. It's prized here. We have all three frog. Oh, we got one frog at ear prize. Sorry, that's a bit annoying. But one star you prized. None of the rest pieces. I think one dive ball prized. One Eva Suda prized. That's four of the prizes. One field floor prized. And I think one VS secret prized. Maybe. Nope. Nobody has a good uh, Nothing much. Nothing too bad. But we're off. Only getting two off, which is annoying, but. We are pretty well set up. He, he might get DCE, and that would be annoying, but. There's. He gets a Sidewai off. There's the Feather Arrow, and he goes to the active. Nothing in hand still. Another N, so we're going to attach this to another, uh, to one of the Frogadiers. I think we just VS Secret for a second more. Try and get as much onto the bench as possible. Don't want to end it all, because his hand's terrible. And there's Greninja's. Greninja pieces, Greninja pieces. Uh, so we go here. This means next turn we can then go break and start hopefully doing stuff. Uh, don't want to play this time, go on a star me place. Can't do much else, so we're just going to. Ask about Shadow Stitch. To make sure he can't do anything, he can't um, hit me for anything and gets no abilities. We draw his Lele, Lele's not an out. Yeah, he does that, so I think Shadow Stitch is probably the best bet here. And we obviously put the break on there. Attach this to this. Can't do much else really. Um, we could Guzma, I guess. We could we could Guzma up the Decidui, but I think I'd rather just take the prizes while stopping him doing anything. So there's another Shadow Stitch, and we've now got two prizes ahead against Decidui. This is not bad. 
energy and a star you so we can at least get some damage off next turn with Latios what Latios doing 40 40 for one that's not too bad first raid okay ah, okay I can dig this I can dig it uh, we will play the star you done we will then I guess just do a bit of damage onto this decidueye Then we'll just actually do we we could Guzma just because this one's not really doing anything, so maybe just want to try and get rid of the Sidiwai. I think we will do that actually. Look we'll Guzma and put it with Star U because we can re retreat Star U. And we chest this again. Just make sure we can't do anything. We've got a pretty good lock going here. And there's a level ball. So you can, you can start thinning his deck a bit for uh, with Pokemon. He's got not much in hand. Uh, there's another Greninja. That's not bad. That's not, that's not a, that's, that's pretty good. We've got another Greninja. We're still not ending because his hand is pretty dead. And we can just keep Shadow Stitching. So hopefully we get a basic water next turn. That'd be pretty cool. That means we can knock this out and then still attack. He's still not drawing great. I'm actually not too sure what deck this actually is. But I'm very confused by it. I don't know why the Latios is in there. Maybe he's a free... No, I'm actually not too sure. There's, there's probably a reason for it, but he's doing... That's not a bad play, but it does mean his Dark Tricks dies. Actually, it might be a terrible play. Although I guess it keeps it Sidueye. That's pretty good. That is very, very good. I get his logic, but that's for a dive ball. Dive ball is not bad because dive ball means we can actually go for a star you and start damaging. Uh, we can dive ball first. Uh, we can either dive ball for a star you or that's our star me or dive ball for a for a Greninja. I think dive balling for a star me is a better play. Just because means we can start discarding stuff. We can discard this. Because we can discard one of these ends. And get two energy back. Um, we get sixty onto this, and then knock it out. That might, might that might just put us so far ahead that it actually might be good. Yeah, we'll do that. the one we need to choose. That's Latios dead. So we're pretty far ahead. You can see the power of Greninja just once it gets thrown. Repeat Ball is very good. Evo Soda is very very good. We can Evo Soda this a, a break. Repeat Ball a Greninja. There's a Sidui. We've got a Feather Arrow. The active. That makes sense. Put down Shaman. Finally get some draw support off here. If it doesn't end we're, we're pretty much okay. See this here, got the Latios. Fourth Jump Plants, finally gets that fourth Jump Plants, and there's Devo Spray. To put it and, uh, I guess, oh, I guess he could got to try and get as much damage off with the Sidui. But no end. Sycamore, and that I think is the game, potentially. Unless he's does knock out this decidui which he might do with timer ball hits one heads one hits one heads hopefully he has not got two here he needs three to be fair to it to win this game which i don't think he has he might do never know i don't think he has though there's another decidui to be hopefully putting this damage here his hand needs to be godlike and i think we're okay evo spray okay maybe not <laughs> so our play isn't as good now just because he, he's not going out this Greninja but he's only taking one prize we're very very much in the lead and I play a gym badge one heads two heads 
two, you could draw two off that. Yeah, acrobike. He has saved himself, unless we can get a VS Seeker. If we don't, we do draw a Greninja Break off here. Then we will Evo Soda. We'll then Rescue Stretcher, a Frog of the Year back. trying to think where the star me will go. How much energy is in the grave here? Discard time. Well we can sure what a shuriken the shaman I think. Well then repeat ball for Greninja just to get repeat ball out of the hand. I don't wanna doesn't particularly matter. I think I'll play Bent's Floki just in case I get an end again, does it improve me? I can then actually wear candy, the new stuff. And we'll play Blower. And improving myself as much as possible. Um, I think we just Shadow Stitch to stop him doing any sort of shenanigans. I think next turn, we, unless he can start shut off my abilities, I think we're pretty much okay. He can't do anything to me. We have one prize left. Uh, thinking about it, we actually could have won this turn because of this. That was a bad misplay. I could have won the uh, last turn. That was a bad misplay. Unfortunately, I could have won. Should have won, but oh well. That was my mistake. But luckily, we're not we're we're never punished for it. Just due to the lovely space beacon, space beacon showing its um goodness here, or how good it actually is. We can jam or shirk and the shaman off the board, and win this game. So we shouldn't have won because due to the typing. To see why it probably should have beaten us, but little weird Latios might have hurt. There's our last frog here. Good victory for us. Uh, apart from that misplay where I could have won last turn, but. I don't know why, I, uh, thinking about it, I don't know why he would bench. I think the problem was I didn't actually see, uh, I wasn't, maybe I didn't expect him to put it. I mean, to, to, to the rising tide, sorry, but it's, it's, it's all that stuff. Maybe I didn't expect him to see it, but I don't know. So, should have, I should have killed it, but that's my fault. Hopefully we can get our own full art teammates. Play, we'll play one more match. We'll play a few more matches, actually. Maybe two more. Well, let's see who we face now. Hopefully nobody grass. Hopefully we can get a better setup, like because I, I I didn't like the fact we only had like two Greninjas. I want to have like a I want to have all four in theory. So we're gonna see what we get out of this. We get oh we get um hopefully a Metagross. Metagross is a good match for us because we can just stop the abilities, and they're setting up as well. So it's not like they're getting good KOs on us. We lost a coin flip, and Keg VGC is choosing who goes first. Mr. King VGC. VGC. I don't know why he's playing that. Uh, I, mean, I think I'm all again, of course. Bit of a shame we're taking a mulligan so early, but oh well. I mean, he's going first, he's getting another draw, so it's not too good. There's Froki. And there is. Not, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think he can kill us first turn. So, we should be okay. He's gonna get Bridget off first turn. I don't. Th I don't think he can kill us first turn. It actually isn't that bad. That is Bridget. Now the trick we a trick we could do here would be would be pretty cool. Would be he's, he's probably gonna go for um Beldum Ball picks Beldum. So oh we go oh, the Crosma that puts a spanner in the work a bit. Not really a spanner, it 
a bit of the same to be fair, but the the crossman actually isn't that bad of a bad. Uh, same problem. He's got, he can't he can't recharge it. So all we're doing here is literally attaching the froki and then bubbling, hoping for a heads. We got heads. So if he doesn't end, we're in pretty damn good shape. Because not only can he not retreat, he could in theory. You could, in theory, algorithm, which he potentially could do. Algorithm would be a, a weird play, but he could do it. No, what does he need to discard? He's got rid of one max potion. That's not bad. That's, that's pretty good. He got rid of one. He got rid of a field blower, which is also very good. He does. Pl he might play three though. And there's a rare candy, so he's gonna upgrade his metagross. He could attach. Oh, he's gonna go for hope. another lele, is it? Maybe even a beacon? No, or Okay. Or group three. He goes energy, it will be enum. If, if, if the algorithms, we're just going to be enum. Um, I don't think algorithm is the GX tech he wants to use this turn. I think he, in this game, I think he wants to use Capy Cure. But I think he's going to go for the algorithm. And he is going to go for the algorithm. He should be Capy Cure just because I can spread damage. But. We're going to get him, and we've got to hope we don't draw another frog a frog out of it. We're going to have the get him, because... Or do we have the get him? We can end and hope, I guess. This is the question. What would be pretty cool is if we draw another frog out of frog here, because then we have a reason to end. <laughs> but we'll see. Now we're candy. Um... No, I think frog is the better. We could rare candy, Greninja, and then end. Meaning we could stop his abilities instantly. You know, it's not a bad play. Yeah, we'll go for it. Right. So I don't think he can knock us out this turn, the next turn. So might have been a bad play. I'm not sure, but we'll see. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that. I'm just have to say anyway. But I think next turn we sick him up. We um, sick him more next turn. I think. Better I can't be up another one. This is where we start the ability lock train. This means he can't Oran Guru, which is also pretty good. So he is setting up his metagrosses. But they can't recharge. I mean he need to get another poke, uh, I mean, another poke, a few Pokemon down. It's one problem with Rare Candying that we have got nothing else on board. And he could just set up this and then knock us out. But we get a Frogadier and uh, that's the in our own hand again here, field door. I mean, he could retreat, but I don't know whether I don't know why he would. I just start him. A start he's not bad. It means we're definitely not dying next turn, and we're going to end. And there is a froki, so we can froki and then I guess go for another froki. But I think we're going to go for the break just to get rid of this. Now he can't one shot us, which is pretty good. Uh, we could dive off another Froki, or we could wait for a turn for the uh, uh, Frogadier. I think we do that, yeah. Another Shadow Stitch. Well, next turn, what we could also do is dive ball for a Starmie if we wanted. No, we can't even do that. Okay. He's attached to this, so he's not doing anything with this. He could just retreat into Necrozma, which is an uh, interesting play, but I think we'll just dive ball for a Frogadier. Okay, that's good. Or even better, dive ball Frogadier. 
I mean, one prize anyway, so it's not too bad. We have Frogadier up. Oh, we'll just shout switch again. Very slowly. Pecking at this beat, at this, at this medical. His hand mustn't be that great anyway, as either, because he's not doing anything. He's now going to guzz me, he's going to guzz me up the Frogadier. This I don't mind, because I've got Greninja. Not too bad if looks down. Unless he's gonna free unless he's going to attach. And then kill this rugby. No, he's not. Okay, that's good. Oh, even better. Right, so we do this. We then will dive ball for hopefully a Starmy, just to make sure to get out of the deck. I mean we're gonna get this ready. And then we shall set them on. Ball for Foki. No, for Foki. I think we still pepper this Grenin, this same one over here, because oh, so just because I think even if he max potions, he's getting rid of all his energy, which isn't good. He could go for that, but because of splash energy, it doesn't really matter with Necrozma. He's getting one hit off. He's got a Guzma. He's got a Guzma up probably yet the Froki. This is fine. Just because we can actually do quite a lot here. Because we can beacon this N out. Go for one energy. Retreat. The other play was to put is put Frogadier on and get the other Frogadier out. But I think I want to keep the lock going, so we'll do this. No, not really. We can still miss Chowstitch for the knockout. And you can see how strong Shadow Stitching actually is as an attack. Like, it is a very strong attack. There's the other Frogadier. And here comes, nope, here comes Orin Guru. He might get them to cross him up, killing the break. He's got a Ranger, which does get rid of the ability lock, and he's going to knock out this uh, break, which uh, he does get a break off the board, I guess. Which ain't bad. He does get a break off the board. But because of splash energy, it not, doesn't super matter. Although we can't knock out the, the Crosma in, in, in response. But. Yeah, and he puts that just because we were able to put everything down, and he was in a very good position. Just because if he, if he can't chain the rangers, he can't constantly attack us. And because of splash energy, what's getting everything back? So eventually, the rangers would, would stop. But see how strong shadow stitching is in as an attack. It can stop Nick Metagross in his tracks. It can stop a lot of decks in his tracks. So we're gonna play another game. Play one last game. Let's shoot off the deck here. So one, one last hopeful game. That was quite a good game just to show off the deck. And we're playing against. We're playing against. I don't know what that is, to be fair. A lot of random e uh, energies. Psychic and Colorless are ones you usually quite see quite often, but the other ones. Oh, in that row, I'm not too sure. Uh, you can see his fear Pokemon might be Murkrow. We'll go, yes, first. We'll always go first, usually. So, what are we playing against? Uh, playing against our Mulligan first. 
of course. I mean, we, we do only play six basics, so it's a one in, how much are we, one in ten, I think, one in ten chance, maybe? I don't know, I'm not too sure. I don't know the exact, time, the exact chances. But there's, oh, there's a lot of basics. I think we just put everything down, don't we? So what are we playing against? We're playing against Noran Guru. We don't attach because I don't want him to guzma me because I'm kind of screwed because of me, so I'm just going to leave it. He's going Bridget. Bridget 4. We're going to find out now. Ritzgardy? I don't, I, don't I don't think I saw a fairy. How much of what it is? Oh, there's fish fairy energy. I think I saw a fairy. There must be an awful lot of fairies. What is this? Volcarona? This for, I'm not sure why Volcarona is in this bit. Oh, there we go. There's Frogadier. Um, don't play Starmie yet because it's a free retreat. We'll do the good for all three. That's good. There's the guy, right? So if this frog here gets gets killed off, we can I'm gonna wear candy, wear candy into Gardevoir. There's Gardevoir. So we are playing Gardy. Hopefully we can chew off the Gardevoir match. Just because we can stop his abilities. So it's quite good in that respect. We can stop the ramp and we can stop even Oran Guru working. He is an ultra ball. Roshi, I'm not sure what it is actually. If you are watching this, I apologize if I got your gender wrong. It lately. Okay, so he's gonna go for prop she or he, he they are they are gonna go for Sycamore. Just because of the low hand size, I'm guessing. But we are stopping them next turn. Unless they the other the other uh, option though unfortunately is they could kill us and then we're kinda screwed. Due to the fact that we have no energy on board. But we are getting Greninja off and we are getting Stormy. Lately then? Nah, it's off for Sycamore. It's a shame, really, but we'll we'll have to see how this one goes. If he doesn't get this early active, though, we we might be okay. Just because we can then shadow stitch and then stop him ramping. Or are they ramping? Sorry. Better sacred spring. What are you gonna attach to? If he doesn't, if she, if they don't attach to themselves, what they do? He's like nine. Even then, not that bad. There's teammates, that's not bad a card to have actually. Put you down. Still don't want to put Starmie down just in case we get thinged. And we're going to have to Because now he, uh, they can't sh Secret Spring us to death. They can just have to manually attach. They can't use Instruct. Yeah, we're going to ball though. The lelies don't work. The galleys don't work. The galleys can't attack if they can get it this out of the active. There's N. Okay, we're that's not bad. N's not N is pretty good. N means we can hopefully get a break and Greninja's up. Yeah, we're we're pretty good. That's a really good card to get as well. It means we can start peppering. What do you do? I guess it's not the X fire attacker, maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, I guess it's maybe for the Metagross match. It's not bad, actually. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not, it's maybe it's quite bad. Cause, but potentially it's an interesting idea. Choice Bank can knock out a Metagross. Maybe it works. I'm not sure. We'll see. So I can get out. So this turn is going to be how many Greninjas can we get out in one turn? We're going to level ball for. Uh, this there's nothing really else in deck we can level ball four so I think we literally just level ball out we level ball out the froggy and discard it maybe no uh, star you that's star you's completely pointless useless in this match we will go for the break because I mean we can discard energy off this. Don't want to get rid of this yet, so we're going to just giant water shuriken this guardy. 
and we will then uh, so come on. So we can get another. Well, we can actually use uh, even better. We can use Evil Soda to get this Greninja out, and we can then repeat all to get the other Greninja. We have four Greninjas out, so this is pretty good. We could also get an attachment this turn, but I don't think we need to. Um, yeah, so actually, it was a shallow situation. We only have one basic energy. If we draw basic energy, this gets a really, really good. It means we can, like, I guess, Guzma. We can 120. What's, what, what's 120 do this? 180 and not quite knocking out, but he's going to go for the Volcarona, I think. We can just e hammer that off, I think. Just to, just to make sure. There's like um, so an Ennis. We would have e hammered that, I think. Attach that to that, and if we attach them, maybe to this. We're still going to be shadow stitching, so I think we just do this to that. Retreat into you. Attach. Just try to thin our hand as much as possible, and in. We get it into another break, which is not bad at all. So we have one break prize, I think. Get rid of the hammer. And we will then just shadow stitch again. We could have beaconed, I guess. We could have beaconed and gotten more energy, I guess, but oh well. We could have beaconed. That's not a bad point. Could have beaconed. Beacon got two energy and then done more damage to this. But now we're definitely knocking out this next turn. And then knocking out. No, not quite, not quite knocking out this. Mm. Yeah, it's better play to do the beacon. But hey, at least we know now. So if we're, if we're ever in this situation again, that's not bad. He's, and they are going to Sycamore. Do you see how we just lock the deck out? They might just attach, yeah, D3 to that. So, Power Hurricane for weakness on the grass. I didn't, I forgot about that. It does retreat everything though. We, we unfortunately don't get everything back due to the splash energy, but. Um, hmm. We go team mitts, I think. Some hand in. Guess we could leave. I'm not too sure. Be fair, it's hard. Return to that. We will then rescue Tetra up again. The frog of deer. Make sure that's there. And you want our space beacon. Take away, I guess, the field deal. Okay, energy. We then water shuriken this. And then retreat. Water shirt. Knocking out the Gardevoir. And then just to make sure we can't do anything. Do we, do we, do we just go for damage this turn? No, I think we just go for... They can't attack and then we can knock it out. Next turn. Maybe we should have went for 
these life flash, but we means they can't they can't like Ennis, I guess. Okay, uh, other abilities can't premonition. Still can't still can't premonition. Guzma up the Stormy. And then oh he's gonna go for this play, okay. Not a bad idea to be fair. It's cause it stops us, but can we knock out maybe we can, we can knock out the we can knock out this out knock out the main attacker. Maybe. Difficult one actually. We can still teammates. So we can teammates for more physical energy. Which ain't bad. We're still pretty damn good position here. So I think we go for this. We can then I guess shuffle this time we'll shuffle. We should put this, this and this back into the deck. Because a good play might be to knock this out entirely and then shadow stitch. Like 60 60, then shadow stitch, which might be a bad idea. But we'll still. I think we'll, we'll dive ball for the. Go Ninja to get it out. We will then team it. Four star you and energy. That's good. We have one energy in deck. So there's Star you down. Right, so our play here is knock out the Galliade. So we go 60. If you're not anything silly here. Yeah. Yep. Right. And then we will just um, we'll just shadow stitch to mean that we knock out the Galliade and then we also means they can't ramp with the Guard of War. I'm gonna get an energy off it, it's not bad. So they can't ramp with Guardi. They think it's super odd, but they can't ramp, which is the main thing. We're potentially doing a hundred per turn. Maybe they Twilight? Twilight's potential. Yeah, Twilight, not Twilight. So what's the play here? I think we'll have to see what draw is. Drawing a still no still annoyingly no thing. Drawing a, a star me would be would be pretty damn good. So that's an awful lot of stuff back into that deck. Okay. Draw is Guzma. If we had choice band, we'd have game at the front of the time. Could we get Guzma up? Hmm. I mean, next turn we're guaranteed the KO. If what well, they don't draw godlike, which I don't think I don't know what what godlike would be for that deck. It's a weird concoction. Uh, Sycamore, that's not Rampage, that is not Guzming Stall, although I can't, I can't really Guzm Stall anyway. Not getting her out of, um, this out of the active. With the Attach Retreat. I think our next turn will be, will be ending anyway. Unless we draw uh, VS Seeker, and if we, if we could draw VS Seeker for Sycamore. Rescue Stretcher. We can put a stretcher back in. Back in or into your hand. Maybe we made a few misplays with the stretchers and stuff. 
Cut me some slack if I, ha if I have, I'm sorry. And he's going to go for... He has to, she has to, he, they have to retreat, yeah, they have to retreat. So, they're going to be doing 60 to us. What do we draw? We draw our candy. Okay, we attach them down there. We then go, good then. Hope for... Uh, not too bad. I'm actually going to attach this to this just to make sure it doesn't get stalled. And we'll just shout such. Next turn we can just Sycamore and hopefully win the game. 30, 60, 90, 120. And is KO Owen the break? Hands, so it's not too bad. Let's Evo Soda. We could actually, yep, we can Evo Soda. We get Evo Soda for the Stormy. And then break of all this. Yeah, well played. Hopefully, we do this right. And retreat into this break. And we win against Garney. Again, due to good old shadow stitching. So that's what the deck really is at the minute at the minute in time in the format. It is just how many shadow stitch can we get off and how many can we win. So I hope you enjoyed this Greninja break. It was a few misplays from myself, but you know, I'm gonna we're getting better at this game. We're getting better. I, mean, I haven't played Greninja quite as a lot recently, but I do like the deck. Uh didn't lose a game, which is pretty cool. So that's the list there. Try it out for yourselves. If you want to see, if you want to try something, by all means, try it out. And hope, hope the deck works for you as well as did for me. Um, and it's inconsistent. That's one of the problems with it. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully you like. Hopefully you play it. And hopefully it does well at Worlds. I am rooting for it because it is kind of the underdog out of all these decks, mainly because the Cubist Stitch UI and the Click and Galicia Pods and all this sort of stuff. So hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for listening. I and watching. I will talk to you next time when I'm on. Next, the next deck I'll be looking at will be Dark Rye, Turbo Dark Rye. Um, I'm not sure it'll be Turk, uh, maybe Dark Rye, completely clean Dark Rye with GXs or even the Garb variant. Probably GX to the Shroud out. So, I'm, I've been Andrew Brown. This has been NCG. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.